Well, it is 138 days to the general elections. Political parties are holding their primaries. Aspirants are getting the candidates start. The inter-party politics can not wait. Why the intra-party politics takes its shine? Before the primaries, aspirants were scrutinized and only those who fulfill the conditions set for the screening can stand in the primaries. The Minister of Communications, Mr. Adebayo Shitu, did not make the cut for the governorship primaries. Mr. Shitu, who is interested in becoming the party's governorship candidate in Ayo State, was screened out of the primary for not having a National Youth Service Corps certificate. I'm now being joined by the minister and uh, asp an aspirant of the Ayo State governorship uh, race. Thank you so much, Honorable Minister, for coming on the it's program today. It's my pleasure. Well, let's, uh, let's add, here. Yeah, let's have a conversation uh, with uh, the outcome of the screening committee. Indeed, we are hearing news about who's won the race in uh, your state for your party and also for the PDP. Uh, but you were disqualif disqualified and uh, by, on the basis of the fact that you do not hold a National Youth Service Course certificate. Are you embarrassed by that? <laughs> well... Uh... I was not embarrassed because I knew that uh, there were a lot of uh, uh, shenanigans ongoing to stop me because they knew that I am a very transparent person. They don't want anybody who is principled. They don't want anybody who is firm. They don't want anybody who will not receive instructions from those who feel that, you know, they are gods and who feel that they are pharaoh. You know, so when it came... I saw it as one of the several measures which had been put in place to stop me. Who are but, they, Minister? Well, specifically the governor, the current governor, Abiola Jimobi, who thinks and has been telling his supporters that if Adiba Ashitu succeeds him, he will be in jail. I have never why, said why to does anybody. He think so? Well, maybe you will have an opportunity of asking him this. He thinks that I'm too principled and that I cannot be controlled. And I, I ask the question. He's been in office for almost eight years. Who is controlling him? Uh, Why would he want to control me? You, you've had a running battle with the same man, the governor. You ran against him at that time. In 2011? The, the slogan was uh, the, buyer, we but the buyer we trust. Yes. But maybe it's turning out that you are the buyer they cannot trust. Well, they, well, they cannot trust me to uh, bend you know, to, to, to you know, issues that are not in the best interest of you know, the people of, of the state. Yeah, they want somebody they can trust to do their bidding. I certainly am not the, that type of person that anybody can put in office and think that he will continue to manipulate. So you, you think the governor orchestrated your disqualification? He certainly, he did. He did using the NYC as the last you know, card, uh, whereas I have it on good authority that even he doesn't have an NYC certificate and yet he too wants to go to the Senate. I hope that at the appropriate time, that issue would also, you know, be brought to the fore. But do you think that uh, the, your, the basis for your disqualification is enough? I believe that, you know, uh, when it came, uh, the proper thing for me to do as a lawyer, I know I have to make an appeal because the law provides that an appeal be lodged against that decision. That appeal has been lodged. I'm still expecting a report from the National Working Committee, you know, on, you know, the fate of my appeal. Uh, you, uh, the, the reason you gave at the time, the explanation you gave over your NYC on not serving at the right time, do you think it was the right one? Well, because I you would, did say... I, look, anything on the NYC issue, I would want to withhold my further comments until the party has taken a decision one way or the other. But you did say recently that you will I will not make any further comment on that. But are you still planning to I serve? I will not. Well, the service, what is service? I mean, I've always been serving anyway. But there's a, there's a mandatory see, uh, that, no, the, that the law prescribes the law for will, every graduate. Will, at the appropriate time, we will still have to get the courts to decide whether having served as a member of the House of Assembly for four years and having served twice as commissioner or at the state level and now as minister, whether I'm still required under the law to serve. If the law says I must serve even after I become governor, I, I mean, what is the big thing? It will be a big fund. And I think I will go down in the records as the oldest 
you know, youth copper to serve in Nigeria. But then but you, for you, now, you won't be a youth copper. You won't be a youth well, maybe, maybe, It will be an adult copper. Maybe, maybe something, you know, a description will be given to it. <laughs> but for now, you know, the issue I'd say is the your state governorship. You think the primary that was held today yeah. and a winner emerging, uh, we understand a lot of people stepped down uh, until we, uh, two people eventually you ran. See, all those step, who stepped down were people who had been part of the Ajimobi crowd. I was never part of the Ajimobi crowd. And in any case, you know, I see what has happened today as an exercise in futility. Futility because legally, if an issue is before the court, the proper thing for, the, for all concerned to do is to await the decision of the court. I had taken you know, emotion out because there has been an existing litigation on the, this whole issue in Oyo State. I had taken the, state, the, the party to court and a motion for injunction against the use of indirect primary. It's still in court. It has been served on the party. A decision is here to be taken. All right. Let's take a moment because I will ask you about uh, the decision of the, the party to go ahead in spite of your appeal and your own ambition after now. So where does the current political situation leave the ambition of the Minister of Communication, Mr. Debayo Shito? We will continue the conversation and the discussion over this matter after this break, everyone. Join us again. <laughs>